everybody. My name is Benjamin Bloom. I haven't just witnessed the game, but I have been asked by a Blades fan, Sheffield United, to fill him in about David McGoldrick, who has just moved, well, on a free transfer, but effectively he's gone from playing at Ipswich Town, my team, last season to Sheffield United this season. So David McGoldrick was at Ipswich five years, and I think... Most Ipswich fans would say we never, apart from possibly the 2013-14 season, saw the absolute um, best of him. He's a forward, but he's very, very much a number 10. But he's not a modern number 10 who plays in a 4-2-3-1 and can do all the midfield stuff. He's, a, he's an old-fashioned number 10. I find, I, find, I find that a bit strange, considering when I was growing up, that was a new thing when... Eric Cantona and Teddy Sheringham, um, Zola. Um, so they were put up front, but all of a sudden they played between the lines of the defence and the midfield. That's what I call an old-fashioned number 10. He's not going to help you in midfield. So he would be best played up front in a front two with either a tall, uh, pl like Leon Clark, a tall player who can... Um, you know, take the um, take the kind of championship physicality away from him, or possibly a quick player who can play ahead of him. Um, I think the reason we never saw the best of him at Ipswich is probably it's probably exclusively down to his injury record. Um, he did play more games than you would think, but there was always a sense that he was going to string a run of games together and then he was going to go missing just as he was doing well. And I think um, he would sort of play, I think the first season he played around mid-30s in the games, which is good, and then it just dropped off season after season and he always would would seem to go missing. Um, as a player, he can be absolutely brilliant. If you took um, one of these YouTube uh, clip kind of um, things of all the best bits there's bits in the games where he'll pull the ball down out of the air and turn his man and everyone will just applaud or where he'll have two players with him um, and then he'll quickly turn in between the two of them and you know these kind of um, real lovely bits of skill um, he's definitely got the skill factor he's got it in him what he often doesn't have is the decision making afterwards whereby we often see him do a crazy bit of skill pull into a good position and you think okay now shoot or cross or a simple pass and move on but then he'll try another you know he, he gets gets it going and then he'll try another bit of skill so sometimes that decision making not the greatest the other thing um obviously most championship players do have weaknesses, else they would be playing in the Premier League. Most championship players are either on their way down from the Premier League, possibly on their way to the Premier League, or they're kind of fatally fatally flawed, never never to get there because they've got one or two key things missing. I think with McGoldrick, it was always pace. Everyone would say if he had a bit more speed to add to that skill, he would be a real, real tough guy to stop. So um, on his day... A real, real crowd pleaser, really skillful, um, will drop in, get assists, um, come back into midfield, play great passes, um, will get you a goal. Um, I did hear a theory um, that his injuries have actually hampered his shooting, which I possibly agree with. His long range shooting or from the edge lost a little bit of power in the past few years and most of his goals seem to be running onto something, receiving the ball, something kind of clever and a, and a nice finish or, you know, on the end of another move. So I think he's very, very much going to have to be the number 10. Um, knowing the Sheffield United system, um, it's very 3-5-2, very energetic. And I know with people like Fleck, who I'm a big fan of, in there, he will be able to come on to stuff. Last season, he was on the left of a 4-2-3-1 on the on the right, etc., etc., and, you know, we didn't really see see the best. There was a couple of bits early in the season when he played in a two and he went on the odd odd little streak. So um, I think he would fit in well there. Um, I've said at his best 
He's a real crowd pleaser. He'll get you assists. He'll drop in. He'll join up. At his worst, he's one of those players that can be very frustrating. He um, He's not a player that sprints about the pitch. So when it's going well, he looks really carefree and um, a kind of, you know, sophisticated footballer. When it's going badly, he does, it, this may not be the case, but he does look like he's not trying. His shoulders will kind of slump down and... You know, he wasn't sprinting when he was playing well, but he'll he'll kind of be a bit more still and can be frustrating to watch. The flicks and the touches don't come off. So he's one of those players that does need a little bit of patience. But in conclusion, what I would say about McGoldrick is I don't think he's ever going to be a Premier League player with the injury record and the lack of pace. I think if he stayed fit... He's played in the right system and allowed to express himself for a free transfer. I'm sure, I know he made a lot of money at Ipswich. I'm sure he'll be on a nice sort of incentivised contract if Sheffield United have been smart. For a free transfer, if you can get a good deal of games out of him, protect him, I think he could be a really, really good signing for Sheffield United as a best case scenario. The worst case scenario, I'm sorry guys. He plays really well for 10 games. You fall in love with him. He scores some great goals and then he disappears injured. That's the worst case scenario. Anyway, I hope that's some use to Blades fans. What I'd be very interested in is if there's any other Ipswich fans watch this, please add your uh, comments um, in if you think I've got it right or wrong or missed anything out. And any Blades fans, how do you think that player um, would fit into your um, high energy 3 five, two? Um, number 10 in a front two system. How's that going to work? Hope that's been of some kind of help. Um, thank you very, very much for watching at Benjamin Bloom. Subscribe, do da do, and see you soon.